Jai Gurudev, how do you facilitate discussions around personal challenges participants might face during the Ram Tarak Homam? Jai Gurudev, we create a safe space for participants to express their challenges by incorporating guided sharing sessions. During these sessions, individuals are encouraged to speak openly about their struggles and seek support from the community. This approach fosters vulnerability and empathy, allowing participants to realize they are not alone in their journeys. Can you talk about the significance of visual elements such as decorations of altars during the Ramtara Khumam? Visual elements play a vital role in setting the tone for the Homam. Decorations and altars are often designed to evoke feelings of peace and reverence. The colors, symbols and arrangements serve to create a sacred space, enhancing participants' connection to the rituals. These visual cues can also remind participants of their intentions, reinforcing the spiritual atmosphere. How do you approach the intersection of spirituality and emotional healing within the context of the Ram Tarak Homam? Emotional healing is a significant aspect of the Ram Tarak Homam. We incorporate practices like guided meditations and reflective journaling to help participants process their emotions. The Homam provides a platform for releasing past wounds and encourages individuals to embrace healing and transformation. Many find that the communal aspect of the Homam offers additional support in their healing journeys. What role does humor and light-heartedness play in the home experience? Humor and light-heartedness are important for creating a welcoming atmosphere. We incorporate playful elements such as light-hearted anecdotes or community games to break the ice and encourage connection. This approach helps participants feel more at ease, making their spiritual experience enjoyable and relatable. Laughter can be a powerful tool for fostering community and easing tension. How do you involve participants in the planning and execution of the Ram Tarak Homam? Involvement is key to fostering ownership and engagement. We encourage participants to join planning committees or volunteer for various roles during the Homam. This collaborative approach not only empowers individuals but also brings diverse perspectives to the event, enhancing its richness and relevance to the community. Can you share how the teachings of the Ram Tarak Homam? can be applied to daily contemporary social issues. The teachings emphasize values like compassion, service, and understanding which are crucial in addressing social issues such as inequality and injustice. By encouraging participants to engage with their communities and take action, we hope to inspire them to be advocates for change discussions during the homum, often evolve around how to apply these teachings in practical ways to make a positive impact. How does the Ram Tarak Humum address the concept of self-compassion and acceptance? Self-compassion and acceptance are integral to the Humum's teachings. We guide participants in understanding that it is essential to treat themselves with the same kindness they would offer to others. This often involves practices like self-reflection and affirmations. By fostering an environment of acceptance, we, will, we help individuals embrace their imperfections and cultivate a loving relationship with themselves. What initiatives do you have in place to involve families and children in the Ram Tarak Humum? We design specific activities for families and children that align with the themes for the Humum. This includes storytelling sessions, crafts and family blessings that encourage participation across generations. By engaging families, we create an inclusive environment where everyone can learn and grow together, strengthening familial and community bonds. How do you maintain the spiritual integrity of the Ram Tarak Humum while adapting it for modern audiences? Maintaining spiritual integrity involves honoring the core principles and teachings while being open to adaptation. By We carefully assess which elements can be modernized without losing their essence. For example, we might simplify complex rituals for clarity while retaining their spiritual significance. This balance ensures that the Humum remains authentic and relevant. Lastly, what vision do you have for expanding the reach of the Ram Tarak Humam beyond its current audience? I envision expanding to reach of the Ram Tarak Humam through community partnerships and outreach initiatives. By collaborating with schools, organizations and local leaders, we can introduce the Humam's teachings to a wider audience. Additionally, we are exploring the possibility of online workshops and resources to make the experience accessible to those unable to attend in person, allowing the message to resonate globally each day. Thank you.